The black Berkey purification elements are powerful enough to remove red food coloring from water. Performing a red food coloring test on your black Berkey purification elements allows you to ensure that your system is operating properly. We recommend this test be done upon first use and then every three to six months. The red food coloring test should be done after priming your black Berkey elements. Please make sure the food coloring is red. Red food coloring, unlike the other colors, doesn't have any minerals, so the element recognizes it as a contaminant. Start with an empty system, upper and lower chamber, and remove any Berkey fluoride and arsenic reduction post filters, if installed. Place the upper chamber only, with the elements installed, on similar sized cups directly underneath each black Berkey element. This will help isolate which filter may not be working or is installed incorrectly. Fill the upper chamber with water and add one teaspoon of red food coloring for every gallon of water. Allow the water to run through to the bottom chamber. If the red food coloring is removed entirely, your purification system is working properly. If the water in any of the cups is red or has a pinkish tinge, then that particular element is not working or installed incorrectly. If the filters fail the test, there are several things you can check first. Are the wing nuts on too tight? If the wing nuts are on too tight, this could cause stripping on the threads of the wing nuts or the threads of the element stem, preventing a correct seal. Do not tighten the wing nuts using any tools. They should be hand tightened to a snug fit only, but not more. Are you using food coloring that is red and artificial? Red food coloring is the only type recommended for this test. Is the washer for the stem inside the upper chamber and is the wing nut secured at the bottom? If the washer is on the outside of the chamber with the wing nut, you will not have a proper seal, which will cause your system to fail the test. Place the washer on the inside of the upper chamber and rerun the test.